Fixation, Wikipedia Audio Fixation is a concept that was originated by Sigmund Freud to denote the persistence of anachronistic sexual traits. The term subsequently came to denote object relationships within attachments to people or things in general persisting from childhood into adult life. In three essays on the theory of sexuality, Freud distinguished the fixations of the libido on an incestuous object from a fixation upon a specific, partial aim, such as voyeurism. Freud theorized that some humans may develop psychological fixation due to one or more of the following. Freud As Freud's thought developed, so did the range of possible fixation points he saw as significant in producing particular neuroses. However, he continued to view fixation as the manifestation of very early linkages linkages which it is hard to resolve between instincts and impressions and the objects involved in those impressions. Psychoanalytic therapy involved producing a new transference fixation in place of the old one. The new fixation for example a father transference onto the analyst may be very different from the old, but will absorb its energies and enable them eventually to be released for non-fixated purposes. Melanie Klein saw fixation as inherently pathological a blocking of potential sublimation by way of repression. Eric H. Erickson distinguished fixation to zone oral or anal for example from fixation to mode, such as taking in, as with his instance of the man who may eagerly absorb the milk of wisdom where he once desired more tangible fluids from more sensuous containers. Eric Byrne, developed his insight further as part of transactional analysis, suggesting that particular games and scripts, and their accompanying physical symptoms, are based in appropriate zones and modes. Heinz Kohut saw the grandiose self as a fixation upon a normal childhood stage, while other post-Freudians explored the role of fixation in aggression and criminality. Objections Post-Freudians In popular culture <laughs>